Hurry up, Fortune. I want to see the mountains. Good morning. It's day something or another. <laughs> That's why I put the days on the video so you guys know what day it is because I never know. Heck, I can't tell you what day of the week it is. I don't know what number of the month it is. I know the time because I can look at my phone. That's about it. Had a great sleep last night. <laughs> okay, great might be an over-exaggerated word there. It was a good sleep. I, for some reason, was snoring my head off last night, and I don't really snore that often. And I think it's connected to how many miles I do versus how much downtime I have. Because <laughs> I pretty much, you know, ate some cold food, drank my water, I didn't even cook last night, and then went straight to bed after a 24 miles. So it's like my body didn't even have 30 minutes really to wind down. And when I dozed off, I, I woke myself up probably 10 or 15 times with the or whatever the noise was I was making it like startled me awake. Uh, a lot of waking up and going to sleep, but it was very, it, it was very uh, comfortable last night. I actually had one moment where I was sweating a little bit in my bag, uh, but it was cold outside, so I didn't get out of my bag. I, just, it, I stopped sweating eventually. Uh, and it wasn't like hard sweating, just like I was warm and getting a little sweat where the clothing clothes were. So I uh, definitely keep an eye on that, you know, or I definitely keep an eye on that when I'm sweating in the cold. Don't want to get hypothermia or anything. But anyway, it was a great night. Again, I'm using great. It was a good night. Uh, the thermometer this morning said uh, about 28 degrees. So it's little by little warming up. I can't wait till it gets to 40 at night. That's the most comfortable sleep. I can't believe I'm saying mild and warm at 28 degrees. <laughs> That's not really that warm, but warmer than what it has been. It's going to be a great day. Summiting some mountains today. Again, it's a beautiful day to summit some mountains, just like the other 364 days of the year. And I'm looking forward to what the day brings. Ah, uh, the beautiful sunrise is happening. Uh... Drank my last coffee today, so I have hot chocolate and tea, but last coffee. I don't know, I almost contemplated quitting because of that. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. I'm really not even that big of a coffee drinker because it doesn't do my gut well, but for some reason when I'm out here, I drink it every day. It warms me up, and I drink it black. I like it like I like my donuts. <laughs> dark chocolate donuts for breakfast and dark brown coffee. Yummy, yummy. All right, continuing on, going to get this day conquered and move on and get some miles under the belt. Henry is a little black bear, a little black bear is he. Everywhere that I go, he comes along with me. He said, hooray for the mountains and the sunsets too. Hooray for the nature and all the pretty views. You just never know when it's going to hit you out here. Just here walking along, looking at the sun and the mountains and thinking about God's beauty and all he's brought me through. And that every time I stand on a mountain, it's symbolic of mountains I've had to stand on oh, through trials and tribulations through life and how merciful God has been to bring me through, and that I am blessed and fortunate to be able to stand here and climb these mountains every day, and maybe most importantly, that God put that strength in me, never say die type of strength. You just never know, sometimes it's overwhelming, the beauty that's around you. I challenge you today to live life to its fullest. And to take it all in. Because we never know when the last day of our lives will be. And we might as well live this life and take in the beauty every day we can until then. Whew! Feeling it today, baby!
Devil's Fork Gap. I love a good meadow. Yes, I do. I don't know if they're crows or what, but Several of them just flew through here and landed on a tree up there, and ever since then they've been squawking and singing. I think they're singing me a song. I hear the beat. Almost sounds like a rap. <laughs> oh, no, there's the breakdown. <laughs> That's so cool climbing up right now all along this little creek or river which uh, is a waterfall up high I'm not sure if I cross in front of the waterfall to see or if that's a side trail but quite refreshing hearing it and seeing it all along this little hike up <laughs> I say little but it's pretty steep. Gets the blood flowing if it wasn't already flowing. Deer's checking me out. Like, what you doing, Fortune? You're not gonna mess with me, are you? <laughs> no, Mr. Deer. Just watching you graze. There's another one over there. He's kind of hiding behind the trees. not gonna come out <laughs> this one's still checking me out so darn cute
see Matt. Camera always makes it look further away, but four deer just went running up over the trail and then up that slope up there. Just kind of hanging on the trail. They seen me coming, and then when I stopped, they just looked at me for a while. Then all of a sudden, something else spooked them because I was standing still, wasn't even saying anything. But they're all up there now. I, don't, I can't actually see them. Oh, there goes a fifth one. Well, getting my wildlife today, aren't I? About time. It's like normally I see five to ten deer almost on a daily basis out here. They've been eluding me. That's seven today so far. A lot of uh, sloping around these mountains, not at the last couple miles. Just going around, wrapping around one and wrapping around another and so forth. Not a lot of ups and downs right now. Already had about 2,500 though for the day. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Just kind of checking me out. Now it's running up. Oh, another one. Oh my goodness, there's three more. One's checking me out like, yo, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> All right, carrying on. This area is sometimes hard to see the trail because, as you can see, especially when the sun is hitting it just right, the trail looks like the rest of it, just all covered in leaves. Has a little bit of a lower level where you could tell, like here, you could definitely tell because it's moved a little bit from feet walking across it. But obviously, it's really early in the year, so it doesn't have hundreds of people walking on it. Thankfully, this area, of course, I haven't seen one for a second, but this area is pretty good about blazes, so you can see in the future, like right up there, that tree right there has a blaze on it, so I know that it wraps around here going towards that tree, which makes life a lot easier, because who wants to keep looking at a map? <laughs> make sure you're on the trail it's always good to uh, be able to see those blazes very thankful for the people that put those blazes up for us I feel like I'm on a summit right now this is at the very top and it goes straight down and then it goes straight up over there that is high rock but I am at the summit right now and I can't find anything in a map, any one of my maps, far out, all trails, anything that shows a name for this. But I know a mountain summit when I see one. So this summit, whatever the name is, is in the bag. Not a whole lot of views up here, basically right here. Nothing over here except the rocks and the trees. <laughs> but what there is, is epic and beautiful and almost 4,000 foot down. <laughs> Standing on a summit of high rock and high rock is in the bag. So do you remember how I told you that I have ideas, and then those get replaced by other ideas, and then those get replaced by other ideas until I end up having a totally different idea. But then what I end up doing at the end of the day has nothing to do with those ideas usually. <laughs> I don't normally make plans. <laughs> I'm a spontaneous guy, and so that last minute decision usually is brought about by all the other ideas however a lot of times it has nothing to do with it so a couple days ago i decided what i was going to do is push through like i have from hot springs to Irwin, and then get off tomorrow for a nero and uh, resupply get all caloried up <laughs> and then go back to the trail and I changed my mind. I'm about a mile and a half from Sam's Gap. Oh, there's three different gaps basically that runs around Irwin. And I was gonna go to the next one tomorrow. 
but changed my mind and I'm about a mile and a half from Sam's Gap and my boy Steve who only who owns Unicoi shuttle is coming to pick me up he was going to pick me up tomorrow and I checked with him like hey uh, are you available today he's like I sure am and I'm like cool I'll see you down there in like an hour <laughs> uh, so that's what's happening today. And just so you know, there is a very good reason why I'm taking this Nero today versus tomorrow. But there will be more details on that later as I want to work some things out for details first. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing bad. I'm not quitting. <laughs> it's a very good thing, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll just all have to wait and see. Stay tuned. <laughs> In case you don't know what hiker hunger looks like. <laughs> Sweet tea, Gatorade, Mountain Dew, on top of all the water I'll be drinking, half a dozen donuts, and a family meal from Bojangles, which includes eight pieces of chicken, family size of pinto beans, family size of Cajun fries, and four biscuits. This should be enough for my lunch and dinner today before heading back out tomorrow to whatever the surprise may be <laughs> laundry just another thing that has to be done on town day another thing that takes time at least this you can just kind of put it in there it takes longer for me to get the quarters in than anyway <laughs> but once you get it in there, it kind of takes care of itself, and you can do other things. Oh, let's see. Heavy duty, cool, start. Oh, I gotta push the quarters in. <laughs> That's funny, I couldn't figure out why <laughs> it wasn't starting. Well, I put the quarters in the slots, but I never actually pushed them in. <laughs> so, doing the laundry now, uploading some more videos. I already resupplied, got my food that you've seen, family meal and Dunkin' Donuts. Got some more at the grocery store, too, uh, besides my resupply. And I'll let you know the news here shortly. All right, so let's go to the news that you've all been waiting for, and I've been waiting to tell you. Um, I'm at the Super 8 Motel right now. Uh, I got off uh, for a town day at Sam's Gap. I was going to get off tomorrow for a Nero, but decided to today instead uh, for several reasons, looking at the weather. Uh, also, I was very depleted. I was out of coffee. I was out of electrolytes. I was out of uh, salty snacks. I was out of cheese. I don't know, the list goes on and on. I had food to get through another day until Nero, but I, I was, it was much better to do it today. Uh, but then the other reason is just looking at the weather and realizing what was coming. And if you remember me talking uh, several weeks ago, or a few weeks ago, I was going to possibly do Mount Mitchell as I came through Irwin. Well, Sam's Gap is what connects that to Mount Mitchell. Uh, that's how you would get there, the easiest way to get there, I should say. Uh, and Steve... From Unicoi Shuttle, he's the shuttle driver here in town, uh, well, one of them. He is the guy that I've been talking to uh, concerning getting me out there, getting me back, and he was all for it. He did planning on his end, uh, but because of the snow and ice that fell, uh, you know, a few days ago and weeks ago, or a week ago, I thought it wouldn't be possible. Well, the next, the last three or four days, it's been kind of warm, and things are melting off. So I thought, well, maybe Mount Mitchell is melted off. So I'm just going to get off here and try to do Mount Mitchell tomorrow because uh, it's supposed to rain in a couple days and this would be the perfect day to do it. Uh, so had Steve come pick me up. And by the way, Steve is awesome. Unicoi Shuttle in the Irwin, Tennessee area, if you're through hiking or just section hiking need to get around, he's your guy. They have other shuttle drivers here. I'm sure they're all great. 
But I've dealt with Steve, and I could tell you that guy is a stand-up guy. Big heart, loves to help the hikers. Uh, very affordable rates. We'll take you just about anywhere. We'll help you slack pack if that's your thing. That's not my thing, but no judgment if that is your thing. He will help you do that. Uh, he will also help get you to different gaps and drop off if you need to get back into town a couple times. Uh, like last year, I had to get off uh, get off, and then go back on and then went 20 miles. He went and picked me up and took me forward so I could walk backwards <laughs> and then took me back there like two days later after a big storm had passed through. Uh, so he, he helps people out, do all kinds of weird things like that. He's your guy. Steve from Unicoi Shadow. You can find him. On the internet, that website, Facebook, or Far Out app uh, for navigation. Anyway, we had it all worked out. He picked me up today. And if you see, as I'm walking by all this right here, it's just my backpack that threw up as I'm doing laundry and resupplying or putting away my resupply. Uh, but anyway, he uh, he went his way. He I went my way coming here to the motel. I obviously do a lot in town. I record video or upload videos, um, you know, which takes a lot of time because you have to export them. Then you have to upload them. Then you have to process them. And then I, you know, connect all that with Facebook. So everything's coming out at the same time. Uh, so one's not coming out before the other. It's, it's, a, it's a thing, but it, it's just time consuming. It's not hard. Uh, so I try to do other things like eat while I'm doing that. Taking in all kinds of calories is a big thing I do in town. Resupplying, uh, obviously talking to my wife, a good conversation because we don't really get those in-depth conversations when I'm out in the trail. Uh, so it's a good time for us to catch up in all the ways we might not have. Uh, so I came back here. He went there. I was doing my research on Mount Mitchell. Found out a few days ago people had been up there, but it had been real icy above 4,000 feet and more. Uh, well, that didn't sound too bad to me. Uh, but I wasn't thinking that that storm that I just went through at Max Patch only happened like three days ago. So, <laughs> like, eh, that's the same story with your Mount Mitchell. Uh, still, I was I was all for it. But uh, Steve, went, in his research, found out all the roads to Mount Mitchell to the trailhead is closed right now. So I can't even get through at this point. So I am going to have to put that to the side right now. I know, heartbreaker. I will be going back to the trail tomorrow. That's a great thing. More beautiful views and uh, great mileage and great days coming ahead and uh, some great views. I know what's coming up here in the next few days. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but Mount Mitchell is going to have to wait, but that's okay because there's plenty of time for that. It's a high point. It has nothing to do with the trail itself. It's just a high point I wanted to get as I came through. could definitely do that some other day. Who knows? Maybe I could do that when I come back to do the Smokies. And knock them that 30, or not all the Smokies, but the last 30 miles of the Smokies. And maybe I could do Mount Mitchell at that same time. Who knows what tomorrow brings? I change my mind 47 times a day. <laughs> but I digress. It has been a great day. A nice Nero. Got everything done. Doing the laundry right now to finish up. Have uh, two more videos to upload. And I will be done. And then I can talk to my wife and rest. And then be back on the trail bright and early tomorrow. So I, again, appreciate everybody following and everybody helping out that helps out, uh, whether that's monetary support or prayers and support or just supporting me through the channel, letting me know that you're cheering me on and following along. It all means the world to me. So thank you all very much. I'm going to get the rest of my stuff done. I will see you all tomorrow. Everybody have a great night and remember, live life.